hi guys welcome back so today we have a very interesting circuit over here it is a ac fan regulator uh, as you can see it is quite simple but it is very useful so we have used basic components only so as you can see there is a potentiometer a triac a diac ic diac db3 then there's a capacitor and a terminal pin connector along with multiple resistors i'll tell you what the purpose of those are in this case so more details and circuit diagram of this all of this module can be found at the link in the description below so let's look at the components of this module so as you can see uh, we have a potentiometer over here we have multiple resistors we have a diac which is this blue through hole component we have a capacitor, we have a triac and a two pin connector. So we have made it over a perf board. You can also get it, uh, get a board printed. So what uh, we have done over here is we have a potentiometer. Since I had a potentiometer of 100 kilo ohms, I had to get a wider range of resistance. So I've added three of these uh, resistors in series along with it to make it a total of 400 kilo ohms as the resistance to the module. Now we have a diac and a triac which both are the power electronics uh, components in the circuit and uh, we have a terminal block with a capacitor and a resistance 10, 10 kilo ohm resistance in this. Now let's have a look at the circuit diagram of this module. So over here we have a 220 volt AC supply which will be given as the input. Then we would have a fan which will be regulating, whose speed will be regulating. Then we have a 10k resistor, a 500 kilo ohm, potenti kilo ohm potentiometer. Since I told you that I had a 100 kilo ohm resistance and I have uh, put three of the 100 kilo ohm resistors in series. So which makes up a total of 400 kilo ohm, but you can also use a 500 kilo ohm resistor. Then we have a diac over here, which is a two terminal elect electrical power component along with a triac and a 0.1 microfarad and 400 volts capacitor. So these are the basic components that we'll be needing for this module. So as you can see, we have a circuit diagram over here and we have our AC source, we have our load connected. So as you all know that AC source has two positive, uh, sorry, two half cycles. One is positive and the other is negative. So during the positive half cycle, the triac would be in forward blocking mode, but it will not be switched on. So these capacitors and this variable resistance would actually determine the discharging rate of this capacitor. And when the voltage across the capacitor is equal to the Break, breakdown voltage of this diac the, which is VBO the, it, the voltage will go uh, to the gate terminal of the triac and it will be switched on and we can see that the circuit is complete and the fans are rotating uh, during the negative half of the cycle the same thing will happen the capacitor will be charged with the opposite polarity since the uh, positive half and sim in a similar way whenever the voltage across the capacitor is equal gets equal to the breakdown voltage of this diac it will supply it to the uh, gate terminal of the triac and the circuit would complete and the fan would rotate okay so now let's test the circuit this was the circuit which we had designed so according to this i have placed all the components onto the perf board and uh, you, have, you guys have to be extra careful when you are dealing with the main supply so uh, on the left i have my fan connected which will be our load so while, after, while wearing the resistance you will notice that the fan starts to spin if we decrease the resistance the speed of the fan increases Whereas if you start increasing the resistance again by rotating the knob, you will observe that the fan speed also decreases and at a point it will stop. So by actually varying the resistance using this potentiometer, you can actually regulate the speed of the fan. Thank you.